Hey everybody, welcome to video 18-2a. This is finding volumes of pyramids. And we're going to work with a formula that is very similar to what we were working with before for finding the volume of a pyramid. It's going to be calculated again by finding the base area B and the height, but this time instead of just simply big B times H, area of the base times height, we have actually one-third the base times the height. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of just really basic examples before the your turn example here. First off, uh, we have a, a square-based pyramid. Not all pyramids have that same um, base, but we're going to start with the pyramid we're most um, familiar with, kind of like the pyramids at Giza. Um, and so we have a square-based pyramid, that's what square pyramid here means, where we are um, given the dimensions that it's a 24 by 24 square and <clears throat> excuse me and we want to know what the volume of the pyramid is we're told that it's composed of some wooden blocks that are in the shape of cubes and that the blocks have dimension four centimeters by four centimeters by four centimeters and we want to know how many of those wooden blocks were used to build the pyramid so it's a couple steps, guys. First, we're going to figure out what the volume of the pyramid is. Then we're going to find the volume of an average block. And then we're going to divide the two things and figure out how uh, many blocks that are in the pyramid. So for the pyramid uh, volume, all we're going to do is take the area of the base. And the area of the base B is the area of the square with side lengths 24 centimeters. So 24 times 24 gives me 576 square centimeters for big B. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a third of that times the height. And the height here, remember, height is always drawn perpendicular. So the height of a pyramid is actually from the point at the top, we call that the apex, all the way down, almost like you were drilling through the center of the solid. So that is going to be the height of the pyramid, and that's 16. So one third 576, the area of the base, times 16, which is the height. And when we simplify that, we get 3,072 cubic centimeters. Now we want to find the volume of just one of the little blocks that is making up this pyramid, if you will. And so we have cubes that are 4 by 4 by 4. And so that wooden block is 64 cubic centimeters. So we're just going to divide the volume by the number, uh, or by the value of the volume of one block. And so we're taking 3072 and dividing that by 64. And we get that the number of blocks used is 144. So we're going to do this something similar to this in part B on the next page. This is page 940. Now we are talking about the Giza pyramids here. And these are approximate dimensions here. Um, 230 meters square is the base. And the pyramid is composed of stone blocks that are what are rectangular prisms. The blocks themselves are 1.3 meters by 1.3 meters by 0.7 meters in dimensions. We want to know approximately how many stone blocks were used to build the pyramid. So the ancient Egyptians that enslaved the Hebrews to make this pyramid, how many of those huge blocks did they have to carve out and stack in order to uh, make this ancient wonder of the world, basically? Okay, so again, we're going to find that three-step process happening. First, find the volume of the pyramid, then find the volume of just one block, and then, of course, divide them. So let's walk through that together. It says the area of the base B is the area of the square with sides of length 230. So we're just going to say that B is 230 squared or 52,900. And that is meters squared. So if we take that value and we multiply it by the height that we're told, which is, again, from the apex of the pyramid down through the center at a 90 degree angle, so 146 meters is what we're looking at for the height of the pyramid. 
So it's one third the area of the base, 52,900, times the height, which is 146. And that is going to be approximately 2,574,466.7. Then the volume of an average block, of course, is since it's a rectangular prism, our formula is volume equals length times width times height. So the volume W of an average block is going to be, if we multiply those three dimension values there, 1.183 cubic meters. Oops, and we forgot units back in the first bullet here, so that's cubic meters as well. Then we're going to divide the total volume by the volume of just one block. So divide V by W, and the approximate number of blocks is 2,200,000. Whoa, that's a lot. So this is the general process you want to walk through here as we get through the your turn problems. Your your turn for right now is at the bottom here. We have a piece of pure silver in the shape of a rectangular pyramid with the dimensions shown. We're told that it has a mass and we want to know what is the density of silver. So we're given the mass. Remember, density is mass divided by volume, if you remember that formula from science. So we are going to be calculating the volume, of course, with our formula and then taking the mass that we're given and then finding out the density that way. Alright, we will see you guys tomorrow.